Hey everyone, I'm Jamie Provines, and I get asked a lot about appetizers. It seems like people have a pretty good idea of what they want to do for the main event, but they're always looking for interesting ideas to start the meal, and here is one of my very favorite little appetizers. My philosophy on appetizers is basically the smaller the item, the bigger the flavor. So if it's a little bite like this is going to be, you got to pack a lot of complexity into it. And you can do that in the bite itself and also in the sauce. So these are Vietnamese beef rolls with a sweet chili sauce. And I'm going to make the sauce first. In this bowl I already have some freshly squeezed lime juice. And I'm going to add an equal amount of granulated sugar. And then also add some really Vietnamese ingredients. Um, I've got some, some fish sauce here. Very strong and salty and wonderful. About a tablespoon of that. And I've got um, sriracha, which is a chili sauce. If you don't know this stuff, you should. This is what they serve in any great Vietnamese restaurant. And uh, it packs a lot of heat and a lot of flavor. So a couple teaspoons of that. I've got some scallions. I'm just going to mince up a little bit of that. So you can see already I've got sweet, salty, tangy, spicy, a lot of stuff going on. All right, so let me give my sauce a taste. Make sure all that sugar has dissolved in there. That's really good. Ooh, it's spicy. Really good. I'm just going to dilute it with a little bit of water. This is totally optional, but I think that's going to work well. All right, so now I'm going to turn to the filling for the beef rolls. What goes inside these beef rolls is a mixture of ground beef with some finely chopped peanuts, some scallions, some finely chopped fresh mint, a little bit more fish sauce, and some salt and pepper. Just mix all those things together until they're evenly distributed and work with your grape leaves. Now the leaves have been in a brine, so you want to take them out of the brine, rinse them, dry them. If there's any little stem attached to any leaf, just trim that off because it's kind of tough. And then lay each leaf smooth side down on a work surface. Put a tablespoon or so of the beef mixture at the bottom and then roll it up, kind of like a little burrito. Just stack them about three to a group and then secure each group with a couple of soaked bamboo skewers. Brush those lightly with some oil and take them to the grill. So the grill is set up for a medium heat. I like to dangle the bamboo skewers over the unlit part of the grill so they don't get dark too quickly. And the beauty here is that the grape leaves are actually holding all that great moisture inside and the leaves are contributing some of their own flavor as well. It's going to take about six to eight minutes total for the meat to be cooked all the way through. Just pull them off and you're good to go with a pretty unusual little appetizer. Unusually good, I'd say.